It feels absolutely fantastic to have won the award, the main award for landscape architecture here, 2013 for World Architecture Festival. It's great that they've actually have landscape architecture as a category. So yeah, very, very excited and thrilled. The project that won the award is called the Australia Garden. The Australia Garden is located in Cranbourne, which is approximately 100 kilometres out of Melbourne. The garden is owned by the Royal Botanical Gardens and we were commissioned to prepare a master plan for an annex of their garden, which is purely for Australian native plants. So this was the first botanical garden in Australia, if not around the world, that would purely be for Australian natives only. The site itself used to be an old sand quarry and it's surrounded by bushland. It was approximately 25 hectares in size and we prepared the original master plan for the project approximately 20 years ago. So it has been a 20 year project to see it to completion and we wanted to showcase Australian natives in a unique way. We wanted to show the qualities and the properties, the smell, the textures, basically to showcase what our native flora is. But we wanted to set up a journey which people can move through the garden so that they can experience this. And that journey is directed by water. Australia is a nation, an island, continent, surrounded by water uh, with desert on the inside. So we wanted to tell a journey about the water moving from the desert to the coast. And so the botanical garden is set up in this manner to form a narrative of the Australian landscape. That is what defines the structure of, of the botanical garden. One of the most iconic things is the Red Sand Garden. The sand garden is the first thing you see on arrival. You can't actually enter. It's something that you stand on the edge and look in, much like we look into the desert. We wanted the visitor to take home their own experience, for them to make of it what they will, rather than have signage to tell them what they should be feeling or what they should be seeing. There is information about what species what plant is, but in the greater sense, it was very much about you go there and you make your own journey, make your own discoveries, take home your own findings. Australia is a young nation, and in terms of landscape architecture, we're a young profession within that nation. I think this garden is quite unique in that respect. There has been a strong, what they call, bush garden movement in Australia that started off in the 70s and 80s, uh, which was really about using native plants. Um, uh, but this takes it to a whole nother level. It's not just about using native plants, but actually really celebrating the qualities and the properties of them.